What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nefertiti, and I'm back with another video. And I'm back with another video. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to the channel, okay? I hope you're having a great year so far. I mean, it's only been a few days, but I'm just saying, like, hope is going good. Hope you got some wishful thinking. Hope you got some good positive thinking. Hope you got some great people around you. Hope you, you know what I'm saying, got some good goals written down on the paper. Write it down. Make it plain. But, you know, have y'all ever had a time where you wanted to start something new? Maybe you wanted to start a business. Or maybe um, you wanted to start accomplishing goals that you never accomplished. Or maybe, you know, you wanted to step out and do something that you've always desired to do, that you've never done, that you know you should be doing or you want to do. And then you finally do it, right? And you don't get the support that you want. And you don't get the, you know what I'm saying, encouragement from others around you that you want. So I want to talk about that because eh. You're not always going to get the support from the people around you, you know, and, and and I know it's like, you know, when you have family members, when you have friends, when you have significant others, you feel like they should be supporting you. But the truth of the matter is everybody will not. And I'm not putting nobody down, but I'm just telling you the truth. Everyone's not going to support what you got going on. And I had this is something I had to learn in the past. But one thing that came to me was that, like, it's okay if they don't. You know what I'm saying? It's okay if they're not on board with what you're doing because what you are doing may not be for everybody. What you are doing may not connect with everybody. What you're doing may not be something that everyone wants to support, right? But make sure that you're your biggest supporter. Make sure that you're, you are your biggest fan. Make sure that you are your biggest encouragement and you don't give up just because you have lack of support. Everyone's not going to believe your vision at first. Everyone's not going to, uh, you know, support. Everyone's not going to encourage. You know what I'm saying? And and maybe it's just something that's just not their thing. And maybe it's something they're just not, it's just not their thing. Everyone don't, it will not connect with what you have going on. But one thing I will say, there is people that will. There are people out there that will connect with what you have going on. There are people out there that may support what you're doing, even if your family members don't. If you keep seeing me put my hand up, that's because the stand keeps trying to fall off. I don't got time for it to keep falling because I want to finish this video. But, um, you know, I know it can it, it can be a downer. You know, it can make us feel discouraged when it's like, dang, why, why I feel like you know, maybe you're you're the type of person that supports other people. You're the type of person that's there for people. You come up to their games. You support them. You're there when they need you. You're on the phone when they need to talk. But they're not there for you whenever you need it. That's okay. Even though it's not okay. Like, it's not okay for people to treat you that way. But when you see that, that's how you know who you're dealing with. Oh, okay. It was all good and dandy as long as long as long as it was you. But now that it's me, there's no support here. But I'm just trying to let you know, don't let, don't let that stop you don't let that lack of support stop you and i could give an example you see how i'm sitting here talking and i make youtube videos and all the topics that i talk about are not for everybody they're not for everybody everyone's not going to be able to resonate with what i'm talking about there are some things that i may say that it may help some this person over there there are there are some things that i may say that will help that person over there you know what I'm saying? I talk about God a lot. Some people aren't believers in God. Some people aren't as deep. Some people have a different perspective than what I have. So they, everyone's not going to be able to get with me, like get, get with what I'm saying to them. Everyone's not going to be able to receive where I'm coming from. Everyone's not going to believe in me. And I had to learn that. Everyone's not going to share and post and repost and, and be supportive. But I have to be my biggest supporter. Because I'm telling you, there are people that will support. And a lot of times, it be people that you don't even know. It be people that watch you from afar. It be people that, you know, may be on the same level as you, but they may not know you. Maybe people across the country, you know what I'm saying? It's not always going to be the people right next to you. Even though it's sad because it's like, dang, you my family member. Oh, you my, you my sister. You my brother. You my, you know what I'm saying? You my best friend. You're not supportive. Yeah, that sucks because you want the people close to you to support you because whenever you do succeed and you do take off, you want to take them with you. But, you know, nah, the crazy thing is like a lot of people don't support until everybody else supports. You ever see famous people like before they even become famous, they have been grinding for years. Like, so don't get it twisted. If you ever see like a rapper, a singer, basketball player, um, a um, 
a what's it called a stockbroker you ever see somebody who owns a business like they're not they don't just get to the top just overnight hey listen stop for a second okay hold up wait a minute before we finish hold up wait a minute go ahead and like and subscribe they have been doing the work for years they have been putting in work for years they have took losses they have um had to invest they have went through a lot to get to where they're at it wasn't just like this for them okay they didn't just wake up one day and was just so blessed no they had to work they had to work for it so a lot of times they were you know what i'm saying they had to put in a lot of effort and whenever they was trying to put in when they was putting in that effort throughout them years when they was grinding whenever they were sacrificing they was putting their last dollar into what they're doing nobody was supporting because people was like you're crazy why would you quit your job for that to start a business why would you go to this state to, to try to pursue your dreams what are you doing what are you doing you don't have no money what are you doing but guess what they end up being successful and when they're successful then then <laughs> everybody want to jump on the bandwagon when they become successful now everybody wants to support because they see other people supporting now they want to support because it's popular but i'm telling you that's how you can decipher who's for you and who's not but that's not really what i was trying to say what i was really trying to say was that um despite of the lack of support don't let that stop you because you are going to get to where you're trying to get to eventually you just have to stay consistent and like I said, everyone around you is not going to be supportive. For example, let me give you a quick example. I do the YouTube videos and I remember there was a time where um, I stopped making them. I, I, I kind of like took a break. I, was, I didn't stop, but I wasn't making them as consistently as I, I do now. And there was a, there was a person I was like around and they told me like, I need to just give it up. Like give up speaking to stop, like stop trying. Like it's, you're not going to succeed. Pretty much is what they told me. So I kind of like slowed down or whatever. And I remember when I slowed down, I, I received a message from this young lady. It was like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And she said to me, please don't stop making videos because I was ready to give up. But when I watched your videos, it encouraged me to keep going. And I said, oh, she, I didn't even know her. When I tell you, I don't even know where she found me at. I don't know her from a can of paint. And maybe she found me on my, because I put my social media in the description every time. So maybe she found me like that. Don't know her. Don't know her from a can of paint. But that was just like a sign that God has given me. Hey, yeah, you may not get support from everybody around you, but this is something I gave you. Keep on going. Keep on trying. There is going to be people that you will encourage. There is going to be people that you will inspire. There is going to be people that will support you. One of my biggest supporters live in um, London. I'm in America. One of my biggest, my, one of my biggest supporters are in London. So, you know, with that being said... Sometimes the road gets lonely. Sometimes, you know, you, you, you feel like you're in it alone. But don't give up because you will reap a harvest. You will see the fruits. You will, okay? It's just like when you plant in, when you plant in a garden and it takes time. And you have to keep putting water and you have to keep watering it and keep making sure the, it's, it's all, you know, the, the, um, the plants are growing the way they're supposed to grow, right? And eventually, within the next season or whatever they, whenever the plants want to grow or whatever the fruit or vegetables want to sprout they do eventually sprout right it takes time it don't just happen well i put the seed in today and tomorrow i'm gonna see the, the fruit no they have to keep on watering it keep on taking care of the land and then they see the fruit right so i'm just letting you know that just because you do not have a lot of supporters just because everybody around you does not believe in your dream or your goals or whatever you got going on does not mean that you don't do it don't allow the lack of support to make you give up. When I'm telling you this, you are go for, there's going to be times in this walk where you are your only encouragement. When you feel like you need people to encourage you, first of all, you have the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not sure if everybody on here believes in God, but God is real. And you can pray and talk to him for yourself and ask him for yourself. That is my biggest supporter. That's who I go to. Even when I feel like, Lord, what am I doing? Like I get like five likes, oh, no, five views. I don't even get sometimes I don't even get 20 and God's like well this is something I gave you keep going no keep going because it's gonna it's gonna pay off keep going it's gonna pay off keep going right so <clears throat> you know with that being said um there's gonna be seasons where you don't you you gonna have people all right even the people around you that's gonna be in your they're gonna be in your ear they're gonna be like why are you doing that why would you why would you try that I don't think it's gonna be successful you may fail guess what you may fail so what what happens when you fall down? 
you get back up. Oh, well. Listen, a lot of people do not step out on faith. A lot of people do not follow their dreams because of the unknown. Literally because of what they don't see or because of what um because of the unknown they don't know what's going to happen they don't know how it's going to happen they don't know who they just don't know so they're like ah since i'm i don't know i want to stay in my little comfort zone in my little cubby hole and i'm just going to stay over here but guess what happens when you stay in your comfort zone you don't grow you don't you don't reach your goals you don't get to where you're supposed to get to when you stay in your comfort zone so i'm just uh, this is the encouragement you might need this sign right here don't listen don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the negative people around you. When you have people around you that saying, what are you doing? Why would you talk? Uh, uh, you're going to have to, they got to get from you. Don't, if you, that means you don't talk to them on the phone for a couple of weeks, don't do it. If that means that you don't be around them for a while, that, don't do it. You need to be around people that will encourage you. I need to stand and stay up. You need to be around people that will encourage you. You need to be be, be around like-minded people who are doing something with their life as well, who understand the struggle, who understand how what it means to get it out the mud, who understands that you still have to go hard even when you don't see nothing, who understands that there's going to be times when you struggle, but that does not mean that you give up, right? And sometimes you may be that only person, and if you have to go in the mirror and talk to yourself and encourage yourself, you do that. If you have if you have to watch videos to encourage yourself, you do that. If you have to read books, you do that. One thing I do is I pray to God. I spend time with God. That is my encouragement. That is who keeps me. He's my anchor. Okay? He's my anchor. That is who gets me through. That is who keeps me standing. All right? Listen, I encourage your relationship with God. If you have, yeah, get a relationship with God, y'all. And and I'm and I'm not just saying like oh some people probably like what do you mean just like go get one just go talk to him like just like you're talking to your friend like hey Lord you know I don't know if you're real I I need to know I need to, I need to see something I need to know like go ask him talk to him like you would talk to your friend and but show me if you're real show me something reveal something to me get the Bible read the Bible and and, and ask God to give you understanding while you're reading it and that way he he will reveal things to you because listen God we, guys we need God in this life I don't care if you're not a believer oh well if this isn't for you it's just not for you but I'm gonna always I'm always gonna push the agenda this is the truth we all need God and when you know that you have God behind you beside you in front of you with you despite of the negativity around you you will stand firm with him because he will encourage you he'll give you the words he'll give you the strength that you need okay sorry if i kept putting my hand out because the stand don't want to stay but i needed to get this video out subscribe you know if you feel like this content it, it helps you you know i want i want people to be subscribed to it that can get something from it if you don't want to subscribe oh well but tell your friend to or something or your auntie or your uncle because somebody might need it like don't be ignorant like don't be rude and stuff but like the video and hey please give me feedback give me feedback comment like say something all right hey if y'all haven't already make sure you guys um be sure to yeah i already said like comment subscribe to the channel i also have a reaction channel i also have a reaction channel which is in the description below and i will be adding some more videos to that you know what i'm saying but check out the ones that's already on there if y'all need to talk to me, all my social media is in the description below. Hit a sister up. If you need me to pray for you, I'm, I'm here for that. I would love to pray for you. All right? God bless y'all. Stay tuned.